Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Master Luke here and welcome back to Octopath Traveler for Nintendo Switch. On the last episode, we made it here to the Cave of Rio, um, where we're looking for the venomous snake that bit um, our friend's, uh, our friend's uh, little sister. So, I was actually thinking of between episodes, um, something I actually want to do here is trade out with Cyrus. Just because... So, we're going to backtrack for a little bit, just back to the town. Um, because I feel like with all the snakes and stuff, a good day we need, back. he can, obviously Alvin can use ice, but well, then. I'm worried that, I'm worried that without being able to hit multiple enemies, and you know the boss is probably going to have multiple people show up, um, that is going to be too difficult. And with his more powerful based, um, magic based attacks, I think we're going to actually trade him out with, probably with Ulbrich. Because we have an axe with Alfin. And so that that's what we're going to do. We're heading back to the tavern. We're going to go do that real fast. Um, what are we doing here, though? <laughs> just hit all these guys with some light. And some wins. There we go. You got Didn't even need to break their shields. So I guess you get the, the dominating. I guess that comes if you don't use all your characters. Like you take them out, they don't attack you, so you don't take any damage, and you don't even use up all your characters. Is how I think you get that. Victory shall be all right. And this should be easy. I will cut you down. Done. Oh, the one guy's still up. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, he's just gonna use a health restore. Um, nothing. Okay. Well, I underestimated this guy. He's got a lot more health than I thought. All right. There we go. Okay. Alright, the only problem is we just gotta head back to the tavern. So let's... Come on, hurry it up. Let's head back over there. Because I think we kind of went out here unprepared. Alright. No, that's the inn. We need to find a tavern. Oh wait, there's a chest in here. What am I doing? An iron axe has been in here the whole time. We didn't even grab it. Okay. Not a tavern. This is the tavern. Alright. Let's change our party up. So Cyrus is going to replace Ulbrich. Obviously we have to keep Alvin because it's his story right now. Tressa. Should we change that with Primrose? No, let's leave her. All right, let's look at equipment, though. Um, quartz rod. And then we can use this flail since we bought that. I was thinking about that, too. I was like, you know, we did just buy that for him. And we're not going to use it. Uh, arcane. Oh, that's much better than the iron axe, but oh well. Um, you know what? I think we're okay. I think we're going to be okay. We probably could use a different sword, though, so we're not just... You know what? Yeah, let's buy a sword with the 2,000 2, gold. Whatever we can buy, let's buy. As far as swords go. Wait a second. Oh, they don't even sell swords here. Okay. We can buy a, we can buy a dagger. Wait, but we didn't, we're not even using... What am I saying? We're not even going to be using... Ulbrich. So we don't even need that. Okay. Now I just feel foolish. Alright, let's head back over there now. I don't think we missed any chests. I think we got them all, so we should be okay. Alright. Into the cave we go. I 
I feel like this was a good decision because if the if the snakes are weak to ice, this is going to make it a lot easier than if we didn't have Cyrus with us. Plus, we're going to be able to see what their weaknesses are, which is something I I like. <laughs> I kind of miss whenever I don't have Cyrus. Is I was I always hope that we can do that. Hold up, let's open this. 500 gold. Okay. What else is in this cave? Let's see what you got. All right, and here we got some snakes. All right, so here they're weak we to fire, which we wouldn't have had. See, if we didn't get didn't get Cyrus. So, um, let's bust one of the snakes. There we go. All but the one. What to do? Uh, and we're about to bust his shield. There we go. My turn. Perfect. I hope I grow it just kind of sucks that snakes aren't weak to the rod, because that would make it so much more helpful, having two of those characters. All right, ruin a seed, whatever that does. Oh, wait, that's the entrance. We're going the wrong way. We need to go. Okay, so we went there. Oh, this just leads us to another chest. Soothing dust. You know, some of these items, I don't actually know what they're for. I know some of them you can use in, like, crafting, which we haven't done yet. Maybe we'll be able to do that with Alfin here in a little bit. Okay. So the bat's weak to ice as well. Interesting dilemma. Hit him with some ice. Perfect. All right. Massive No, don't put him to sleep. Oh. I'll do my best. Oh wait, she's still awake. Alright. What took out the snail for us? Ooh. Is the bat weak to the rod? Nope. There we go. Let's hope this thing is weak to the bow. Yes, it is. Okay. Ooh, 110 and 108. I'm glad we bought that flail. Alright, how do we get over there? I guess we have to go around for that one. Good, we're getting some more plums because we're low on those. Invigorating nut. <laughs> okay. And a bronze. Ooh, a bronze vest. Okay. Um. Who doesn't? Who's not wearing a vest? Black attire, leather armor. Physical defense seven. Wow, that's not. Oh, you know what? Alfin probably doesn't have anything. Yeah, he's just wearing a robe. Bronze vest. 19 and 24. Yeah. We'll give that to him. Ah, need anything else? Ooh. Injurious seed. Mild hazardous substance. Small volume. Um, We only have six plums. Do we have enough for... Yes, we do. All right. And how many... We, got... we technically have an... You know what? Yep. Let's just do it. That way we know we have enough for sure. Alright. Make sure to save. Alright, that doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Purifying dust. Oh, we got one more battle. And then I see... I think I see the snake pit over there to the right. All right, well, we're back to no swords again. Because of Ulbrich, but... No, they're not weak to the rod. Um... I guess nobody is, really. We can do a big heal. But I don't feel like we need it. No, you know what? Let's just summon somebody with an axe. That's more helpful. 
Yeah, okay. Seven, 133 all right there goes the snake no they're gonna put us to sleep again come on all right um is the bat weak to an axe no And did level 10 okay perfect all right so before we go in here let's actually see if we can upgrade anything 3,000 points for them nope 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 man we're kind of close on out well no we're not yeah okay I guess we're not anything else Nope. Okay. All right. So I think we got everything. Um, everybody's fully upgraded. Let's just save and do this. Well now. Ah, looky here. A patch of water blooms. This must be the place. Not just a pretty sight. It makes good bitters too. No wonder it's Seth say it. What an angel. Coming all the way here to pick flowers for a brother? Hmm. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> ah, and if you ain't just the fellow I was looking for. Sorry to drop in unannounced. Say... Don't suppose you could spare a nip of a uh, snake bite, could you? Oh, oh, no, 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 don't get up. I'll help myself. Well, now. Oh. oh, shucks, if you insist. But let me give you a hand. All right, guys. Ooh, look at that snake. That's pretty cool. And we already know it's weak to the ax, perfect. All right. Is it weak to the rod, though? Yes. Okay, that's going to make it easier. Because that means there's now two two of our characters that can hit him. Since we both use rod. And he can hit him because he's got X vulnerability. And I'm sure somebody out there has got ice vulnerability, too. Crap. Okay, he poisoned us. Um... No, it's not worth resting yet. You know what? Actually, no, because then it heals our poison. Yeah. Time for a break. All right. No, that was good. What to do? Okay. No lances, though. Shucks. All right. There he goes. We still got to take a couple of hits from those buddy snakes, but... At least he's busted. Alright. So nobody's weak to light magic. Alright. Let's try some ice. Oh, that hits everybody. Perfect. I'm glad. Okay. Not to bows. Shucks. Let's see. Let's try this amputation. At least an axe uh, attack on a single foe. Ooh, 457. Okay. I like that. All right. Um, and then we're going to boost a, a large heal. Because the poison's really getting to us. All right. The big snake's back up. Here I go. 
All right, let's try some trade tempest. All right, that did nothing to anybody. Okay. Uh, but I do know something that will hit. All right, they're down to one. Hmm. Yeah, let's just hit him with another weak attack. I don't think anybody needs to heal quite yet. Yeah. Because Cyrus is up. Okay, he's going to attack. Yeah, that kind of hurt. But that's okay. Cyrus is coming up, and he's going to... Actually, no. We're not going to boost. We're going to save the boost. We're going to break the other two snakes. And then we're going to focus this next turn on one of them. No, actually, we're just going to do this. Oh, the little snakes are weak to the rod as well. What? But not the axe? Come on, I thought all snakes were weak to axes. Alright. Yes, okay. Now we only got to deal with two enemies. Oh, and it missed Ophelia. Alright, Alfin's low on health. Now let's focus on this other guy. If we can take him out, that's one less thing that turns ne attacks next turn. Uh, they're not weak to the axe. So let's try an icicle. Oh, okay. Alright, it's just the big guy now. Ooh, you know what? Let's just use another big heal with everyone. Because he's going to... He, I can't break his shield, and he's going to attack next turn no matter what. Yep, and I just figured he was going to do an attack that hits everyone. Here we go. Alright. Actually, let's not boost, because... We have enough we have enough people that can hit him. Save our boost for after he's dazed. There we go. Four fifty two, okay. Let's try well, do I wanna use holy light? Yeah. Let's use some holy light. Ooh, six thirty-eight. Okay. What is the logical course? All right. Um. Oh, ice! Get them through. Four, four, four. What to do? Um. Yeah, let's just go with another trade win. We got the SP for it. Yeah, get in on this amputation. All right. Ooh, 685. Not bad. Constrict. Oh, she's... What is that? She's dazed? What is the stars? Oh, she's unconscious. Okay, so basically, yeah. She can't attack. Okay. Alright, let's save up some more boosts. Yep, still unconscious. Okay. Alright, bust it again. But now we got this poison to deal with. Um... Ooh, and there he goes, 876. Wow, that was a lot faster than they thought. Well, I guess when you go in properly prepared, it's a lot easier. All right, cool. Bottle of poison dust, herb of healing. <sighs> ah, sorry, my hand slipped. What's that? Take all the venom I need? Don't mind if I do. 
Hold tight, Nina. I'm on my way. Oh, Zeph, it hurts. Nina. It'll be all right, you know. Alf will be back any time now. He's never let us down. Yes. I know. <sighs> when Father died and left the two of us alone, I didn't know what to do. The truth is, I didn't think I'd be able to raise you and protect you on my own. But Alf was always there to lend a helping hand. When he told me he wanted to study together and become an apothecary himself, he gave me the strength to carry on. He's always so humble, apolog apologizing for being a burden on me. But the truth is, I'm the one who's been relying on him this whole time. If only I could be more like him. Alfin! <laughs> ah, did you miss me? Hey, sorry it took so long. What a relief. Oh, Alfin, thank the god you're safe. The Venom. <laughs> you really did it. Well now. I trust you can take it from here, eh? Yeah. I'll get started at once. You bet. Hang in there, friend. I'm beat. I think I'll head home and catch a few winks. Alright. Take a short rest? Let's do it. Later that night. Hmm. I wonder how Zeph is doing. I shouldn't worry. He'll be fine like always. You know, I... Zeph. I've given it all to the best the apothecary I can be. To be more... Like you, know who. But sometimes, I feel like I'm still so far away. <sighs> yeah, that's right. All it'd take is a stiff breeze to blow this backwater village right off the map. And yet, this is where I was born and raised. Where I learned my craft. It's got grouchy Gertis, who ain't never seen smiling. Meryl's got her act together, but she still needs a shoulder to cry on now and then. Gotta keep an eye out for old Alex cough, too. And you, Zeph. I've been giving you a hard time since the god knows when. You invited me to study with, together with you under your father. Took care of the books after we went into business together. <laughs> right, what was I thinking? I better stick around here after all. Now then. But not here. I better go see how Zeph is holding up. Alf! The flame take me. It worked! Nina's feeling better by the hour. <laughs> I knew it. With you on the job, was there ever any doubt? Thank you, Alfin, for everything. You, you saved my sister's life. How can I ever repay you? Don't even mention it. I helped out someone in a bind. Simple as that. Those words. <laughs> 
I remember when we were still small and the great pestilence came. Father could cure every disease known to man, but for the first time, he was at a loss. Then one day, a traveler came to town bearing an elixir the likes of which we'd never seen. Aye, this'll do it. Thanks, mister. But why did you save me? We ain't got no money, you know. Listen, son. Listen well. I saw someone in a bind, and I helped them out. Simple as that. Shucks. I hope I can do that too someday. Ever since that day, you've worked your damnedest to become just like your hero. To help people out, just like he did. Oh, um, is that how it went? Alfin? We've been together forever now. So I can tell. You want to leave this place, don't you? You want to travel the world and help as many people as you can. Just like him. a skilled apothecary, Seth. At least as good as, you know, probably even a little better than me. But I can't leave you to look after the whole village on your own. Besides, who else would cut your ego down to size? Who'll listen to Gertis's grumblings and Meryl's tales of unrequited love? I will. I'll do it all. Huh. Don't you worry about anything. I'll see that the villagers are happy and healthy. I swear it on my life. So go out and see the realm, Alf. Do it with your heart at ease and your head held high. Um. Guess what, Ma? I'm going on a journey. Time to see just how far my talents will go. I'm gonna save folks the world over, just like the man who saved me. Keep an eye on me, would ya? Alf! Thank the gods you're still here. Oh, come on, Seth. I didn't ask for a going away party. <laughs> Just a little present for the road. It's nothing special, but... I want you to take my satchel. That way, no matter how far you travel, I'll be right there with you. Wow. Uh, you weren't kidding when you said it's nothing special. Uh, it was the only thing that came to me. Seth. I'll take good care of it. Here, why don't you hold on to mine too? Now there's a plan. I'll put it to good use, Alf. Alrighty then. See you around. Be safe out there, friend. And so, Alfin set forth on his journey, to travel far and wide, and ease the pain of the sick and suffering, just as one man once did for him. Little did he know what awaited him on his travels. Alright guys, well, that wraps up Alfin's story as well, so uh, 
well, it doesn't wrap it up. We're going to keep going with it in a little bit here. Um, but if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and post your comments down below. And we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.